Chinese motorbikes and products. Is this a good move for our sport or a bad move in the long run? Historically, Chinese motorbikes have been the source of many jokes. The poor quality steel has been called Chineseium, foot pegs have snapped, and the list of quality control issues was usually endless. But some writers argue that China is in a similar position to Japan back in the 1970s, and that their quality control is now improving dramatically. Chinese motorbikes and products are flooding into our sport. I am surprised at all the news reports and reviews <laughs> proclaiming the cheap prices are great for riders, but none of the social media influencers are talking about the potential negatives. So let's take a hopefully objective look at the situation. In some cases, an existing Western brand uses a Chinese manufacturer to reduce costs. For example, a Chinese company called Chongqin Longqin has supplied complete engines for various BMW models since 2005 and the components for many other models. A few years ago, KTM partnered with the Zhejiang Chongfeng Power Company to collaborate on various models. The CF Moto website says they aim to manufacture all of KTM's range of middleweight models powered by its new 800cc LC8 engine. Their goal is to make the Chinese factory in Hangzhou into KTM's third global manufacturing site, alongside the Austrian and Indian factories. In some cases, existing Chinese manufacturers are now expanding into Western markets with very cheap motorbikes. Examples are Zhongshen, Lifan, Lonsin, Changjiang, Zontes, Jian Qingpi, Xingjiang, Kongqing Longtin, and Zhejiang Tungfeng. In some cases, they changed the name for the Western market, so Chongqin Longtin is named Lonsin and Zhejiang Tungfeng is called CF Moto. In other cases, the Chinese company buys the name to an old manufacturer. For example, the classic AJS name in Britain has been used since 2014 to import rebadged Chinese motorbikes. A Chinese company Xinjiang Motors bought the rights to Benelli so that their Chinese motorbikes had an Italian sounding name. In 2014, SWM was resurrected by the Chinese conglomerate Shinere. The motorbikes are still built in Italy but with an unspecified amount of Chinese made parts. Let's look at some of the potential problems. Quality control. A common complaint is some Chinese manufacturers have a short-term aim of maximising profit and cutting costs in every way possible, often by substituting inferior raw products. It was very common years ago and still occurs today. However, quality does improve when Western quality control standards are strictly enforced. <laughs> There is a lot to monitor. One quality inspection agency said there are at least 28 problems that are common when importing Chinese products. However, in some areas, such as electronics, some Chinese manufacturers have created their own successful quality standards. Today's Chinese motorbikes display this wide variety of quality control, from terrible to quite good. <laughs> Do your research. Illegal copies. The Chinese have been notorious for illegally copying the designs of Western manufacturers, but using very poor quality materials with the expected results. Our personal experience, we reviewed this Chinese copy of the 2006 Honda CRF 450X. The owner was hoping to import these into Canada. He insisted on proof from the Chinese manufacturer that they had legally purchased the design. For months they kept saying, yes, we purchased the rights, but <laughs> would not provide the evidence. Eventually, the Chinese factory admitted it was an illegal copy. Slave labor. Many viewers will know that China currently has at least one million Muslims in so-called education camps, with numerous reports of false imprisonment, rape, torture, and other human rights abuses. Most detainees are forced to work by the government-owned Xinjiang Production and Construction Corps. 
An Australian study found that various brands, including BMW, were benefiting from slave labour. BMW issued the standard reply. Geopolitics. This is a broad category that covers human rights, politics and the environment. Some writers want to purchase products from countries that have a good record when it comes to human rights, democratic systems and some environmental laws in place for manufacturing. Unfortunately, most of these issues are getting worse in China. And China is threatening its nearest neighbours more in a military sense. Should this matter when buying Chinese motorbikes or products? Eh, I'll leave that up to you. Many riders won't worry about the bigger picture and will just appreciate the cheaper prices. Finally, just a quick note on Chinese products for motorbike riders. I have had viewers ask for a list of which products aren't made in China. I have a few videos out so far. About two thirds of helmets are made in China now. It is roughly the same for boots as well. I discuss some of the problems in those videos. So what do you think? Does the country of manufacture really matter? Do you think there's still a link between poor quality and Chinese manufacturing? Have you had good or bad experiences with Chinese motorbikes or riding gear? I'm keen to hear your stories.